welcome back to Cooking with Crosswalk. The show where we cook in Crosswalk? Anyway, let's get back to the food that we were so wonderfully preparing. As you can see, I've prepared a lovely package of tacos, as well as a full pizza. Take my word for it, it's delicious. Chicken, bacon, ham, pineapple. Yes, it's okay to put pineapple on pizza. It was delicious. It was wonderful. It's good for, well, maybe it's not that good for you. Uh, I did have to go to my garden and get some of these zucchini, lettuce, and tomatoes and vegetables here to have on the side to make it healthy. What would you guys prefer? Would you guys prefer the tacos and pizza or prefer the vegetables? And what does this have to do with God's word? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, maybe I asked, but you know what I mean. Well, what it comes down to is, today, we're going to talk a little bit about Daniel. And for those of you who don't know who Daniel is, Daniel was an Israelite who was taken into captivity along with some of his friends and was placed into the court of the king. He was to be educated as one of the leaders of that country which might sound a little surprising at first, but what this country did, the country of Babylon, is they would take the smartest and brightest of those who they conquered and would bring them back and train them to help lead the country. Well, you see, as part of that educational process, they tried to get Daniel and his friends to unlearn the things that they had learned about God to not follow the practices that they had been taught to follow, to not do the things that God had called them to do. They provided, well, hopefully their delicacies were a little bit better than fast food tacos and pizza, but they presented delicacies for them to eat. But Daniel and his friends, either because they didn't line up with what God's word had told them to eat, or because perhaps the food had been sacrificed and dedicated to idols, didn't feel right about eating it. So let's find out what they did. In Daniel chapter 1, and again, Daniel is located somewhere in your Bible. You might want to look it up. Chapter 1 and verse 8, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. And it goes on to say later that basically Daniel and his friends asked to eat only vegetables and water. Now I don't know about you, but I don't think I would really like to have a whole diet of just vegetables and water. But they were trusting in God. They heard what God asked them to do and they obeyed. And let's find out what happens in verse 20. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers who were in the realm. So you see, Daniel and his friends obeyed God, and they were blessed with wisdom greater than all of those who are around them. If you study the book of Daniel, and we're going to talk some more about it in the coming weeks, you'll learn that Daniel and his friends didn't give in to the peer pressure or to the educational system that told them to believe something that contradicted God's word. They were faithful to God and God blessed them and prospered them, protected them, kept them safe, and they became important and valued rulers in the land of Babylon. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I have a question. Have you guys ever been ridiculed, made fun of, made to feel like you don't belong because you went along with what God's word said and didn't follow the crowd? That happened to Daniel and his friends. It's happened to me. It's probably happened to you. How'd that make you feel? Did it seem a little weird that people wanted you to go along with them, but maybe were telling you that you shouldn't follow the crowd or shouldn't follow what God's word says and go along with what other people are telling you to do your own thing? but yet they themselves are telling you to do what they want you to do? Shoot us a message. Let us know what happened to you. And we'd love to hear how you guys have been following God's word 
and listening to the Holy Spirit. Have a great week, Crosswalk. We'll talk again soon. The vegetables are good, but I'm glad we got the pizza. Wait, who ate my pizza? Wow, oh, this lettuce and tomatoes and stuff from my garden. I'm actually pretty proud of it. Wait, we didn't wash the lettuce yet. It was a little crunchy. Hmm, probably should remember that this time. I love fresh zucchini. You can just pull it straight out of the garden, wash it up, and eat it just like corn on the cob.